there are literally countless, countless great ways to get your content out there. I think there's still one great way, guys, and that is taking you on my whole jet day journeys in not like single episodes of 10 minutes, but getting you in there in like episodes of one hour, one hour, 10 or 15 minutes. So uh, I just had arrived in Japan. I'm on my way to the rental company to pick up my car. So yeah guys, that's what the plan is. I'm gonna take you this whole trip. Every single day I'm gonna make like videos and taking you really into my day. So that will be also a bit different for me, a bit hard to create like not that much edited footage, but I think it will be nice, it will be fun. I will try to not shake the camera as much as possible. I just picked up my rental car. I had to hurry up because I thought I was going on a harvest at eight o'clock with Terrazzo. Uh, it's 8.45, there was some misunderstanding, miscommunication because they left and they just wanted to start harvest, what I really understand. So that gives me the opportunity tomorrow morning to be here again at 8 o'clock in the morning and start helping the harvest. There's nothing to do about it. Uh, just spoke with Yuki, they are on their way back to the Koi house. They did a Nisai harvest, so that's two-year-old Kohaku. Not sure if it's genuine Kohaku or just the normal Kohakus. Uh, Terrazzo Koi Farm, uh, I will show you my car this year. It has a different color. <laughs> Normally I have like the silver Mazda, um, but now this year I've got Suzuki rental car. I was thinking maybe it's a better idea. Um, Hunter was smart enough to buy a car here in Japan. Maybe I should do that. I mean, this is my second time. Uh, I'm very blessed to be here in Japan for the second time a year. I mean, I was here in June for the breeding and now I'm here for the harvest season. I will be for quite a long time here. So it's quite expensive to rent a car. Um, so maybe it's a good idea to see and check if I'm able to buy a car here in Japan, leave it just here. It will save me a lot of money every time I go here. So let me take you guys inside. Um, so there's the, the koi houses are very very empty the, the breeders are just starting harvest it's the 12th of October that means that most of the breeders they not even started with their Nisai ponds but in the coming few days it will be more and more um, there are just there's some nice koi in here some nice jinrin hakus here we go and um, I will try to adjust my light a bit. Yeah, that's better, much better. Look at those beauties. Uh, Nisa, I'm not sure if it's um, male or female. We got some more and some more there. What I really like to do is to pick out the best ones <laughs> that I like the most. Uh, I see a very nice big one here that has a really good body, but there's even one with a better skin quality too. But um, well, well, let's dive into there. I'm going outside, guys. Uh, wait to see if they come back soon. And uh, say hi again after um, a couple of months that I was here for the last time. Oh. They're back. They're back, they're back, they're back. So we got Koi in here. Konnichiwa, oh, boss. Morning. How are you doing? Oh, Tsuyoshi san, how many pieces? Uh, 74. 74, yeah. for only side. Or Nisa. Uh, Kohaku, genuine Kohaku. And uh, some Showa. A Showa. Oh. Yeah, nice. Okay. So there's a new staff member too here at the Rouser Koi Farm. And uh, today Steve Gibbons is here too. And we, most of the time we see each other two times a year in January at the Old Japan Koi Show, now here at the harvest season in Japan. And uh, it was always fun to see all the people around from all around the world again here in Japan, sharing the same passions. Wow guys, look at this, nice, beautiful. It's <laughs> pet. Oh, this one? Osu. <laughs> Osu. 
今年はいいの選んだねファイナルファイナル<笑>やっと<笑> Male or female? Female Female, good <笑> So what he's doing is filling uh, if there are some raw stuff at the fins and you can also see it by he's really taking a good close inspection when we did this it it was uh, small so it's hard to tell the you know sex yeah so this is the perfect time of the year to um, see if there's a female or male and they're separated from uh, from this point so the females go to the female tanks and the males go to the males tank so Yuki um, and Homara they were uh, they're the fresh parents from uh, the little baby and it's now for the first time at baby school so Yuki can help again at the farm at the most busy time of the season and that is the uh, harvest season So these are the koi that are for sale guys and um, look at the skin quality. That is beautiful. And if you, if you look closely, I think you can see it on this one very, very good. You see that like the, the deep red benny inside the scales. Uh, I will try to zoom out a bit so it's better. Yeah, now you can see it good. So you see like the red scale, but you see the darker part inside there. That means that there's more pigment in the, in the cells and the scales there. And that is a good sign of high quality, good skin quality. Um, high quality Benny at, um, at these Kohakus and they're really nice fish. They're big, I think they're around um, 45, 50 cm. I think somewhere between, uh, between those numbers. Some nice fish and um, there's more koi being picked up by the rest of the staff and Chashi is doing the selection here and then they go into the ponds and these are the ponds for sale too. And uh, so we got here some separation between males and females. A female? Hello. Separate. Separate, hi. It's female, male? Hello. So we got more. And you can see already, when we just arrived there, there were just a couple of koi in here. And now it's filling up. Uh, so that's nice to, uh, to see. So the, the tanks here are divided by, of course, by, um, by price. So that's good and also by sex so that means that the females will be um, separated from the males this is the point that they are finally able to see which one are the males and which one are the females there's some pretty nice coin here We'd love to be back again guys
in the film tonight, huh? <laughs> I'm filming everything. So I just told the viewers that this is the first video of our trip. Uh, I told them that I'm gonna make like just episodes without cutting in there, just like one hour episodes. So just what I'm doing all day. So oh, yeah? this is gonna be in there, definitely. Nice. Yeah. So guys, um, you know Savannah, you know Hunter, we got Nikhil. <laughs> And I'm Holly. Holly. Hi, Holly. You're, Hi. This is the first time together with Nikhil that you yes. are on the channel. He and also goes by Nick and then we, we just say Christmas names, Nick and Holly. Nick and Holly. <laughs> That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one to remember. So, uh, we just went, we're here at Terrazzo. Uh, we watched the parent koi. There were some Nisai koi in here, but there were a lot of people that diving on it by the koi. And we are going to the NND uh, event. They have an event, yearly, a yearly event. Will be nice, a lot of dealers will be there. Good barbecue normally, so uh, looking forward to that one. Let me put the camera on this side. Let's go to the cars and tomorrow morning uh, I'm back here at Terrazzo for the uh, another Nisai harvest. Then, <laughs> then we take out the fish and I put them away, then move on to the next one. So we drove to the NND event. Uh, there are a lot of people, a lot of people from Thailand, uh, from the Netherlands too, and a lot of people are watching the koi. So there's some kind of lottery. You have to um, you have to fill in the forms for which pond you like. So every pond has its own number. This is N, this is I, I don't know which one this is, this is D. If you are picked out as first, you are able to choose the first or two koi. It depends on how many koi you want from one fat. So, that is what you put on the paper and from there on the event goes like you have seen probably in the other videos in the last few years before the um, pandemic. So uh, good to see so many people here. Uh, I think it will be more busier in the, in the upcoming uh, weeks and days. Uh, so it will be fun. And um, what's also fun here is always the uh, nice barbecue we have. So they prepared a lot of things and stuff here so it will be, will be nice too. Hi, Shiro. <laughs> <laughs> here it is, right here, right here. So right here we have the Shiro at Surrey and when I'm looking at this koi I'm thinking all right how's the uh, reflection looking is it is it balanced from the left side to the right side over the dorsal fin and I do see that I do see that so I see right here is balanced with this side and this and then some on the tail right here this is a gosai which is five years old i'm really liking where i'm seeing the sumi go so it's going to come up right here and probably right here on the face as well i like the montegoro on the fins very nice. Yeah. 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 Good. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, you were on camera. I saw you watching. <laughs> <laughs> so this is always really nice, guys, when we're here at the annual event. What's your name? At NND. Um, they're taking good care of us with a lot of food, a lot of people. And um, there are still even people watching Koi, so it's good. I think 
maybe it's fun just to tell people what we were just talking about that um, there were a lot of people at the NND event and they were coming to Hunter and they're coming to me and they, they said they watched our videos and I think it's very nice to see that so many people are watching the videos and that gives me some energy because it takes me a lot of time and effort to create those videos and it's fun to see that they are recognizing Hunter and Savannah and, and Nikel and, and everyone from Select Coin. Um, for me, that's really positive. I like that so much. Yeah, yeah. me too. I, I, I think it's really cool that you know we can share this experience. This is a very unique experience, you know, and it's just really cool to share it with the world because if you if you tell people, hey, you know, like I saw a, a, a one meter fish. People are like, oh, you know, like, what? what is that like? Well, it's amazing. And look at all the cool people that I saw the fish with. You know, like, there's a lot of people looking at that fish, too. It's crazy. You know, yeah. so that fish now is, it's popular, you know, and, and it should be. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be our koi dance every time we sell a koi. And you have to do it with okay. us, too. Uh -huh. like, we thought we lost you guys, but... Uh... <laughs> Made in Oregon. Yeah. Here we are in Japan. <laughs> Shinoda, Shinoda, I see a lot of you at Surrey. Oh, Deutsche, nice. Look at these guys, some good fish in here. Oh, sorry. No, no, you don't have to say sorry. So I'll tell you, uh, I came in to talk to uh, you know the breeder here at Shinoda, and we went over all the all the characteristics of what his parent koi have uh, when it comes to the output of these of these nisai, you know, and how it's going to develop. And what I was most concerned about was, you know, some of these colors are like really nice, and some of them are a little more yellow. And and typically, when we look at like gohaku and and any gosanke, really, you're looking at Benny. And uh, similarly, I wanted to ask him, hey, you know. How does it work your, uh, your, your heat when, when it's coming up uh, and it's kind of yellow here? Like, as it gets older, is it better? And so he said, well, <laughs> actually, there's two parent groups. I said, okay. So he said, one of them is a lighter color and it takes a long time to come up. And he goes, and the other one is really red, starting off, and it just gets more red as it goes on. So. We went through the, the koi, and there's actually a video that I have on it, uh, and, and I ended up choosing the ones that are the most red. So, really, you need the help from the breeder, otherwise you you don't know, you know. So, we're learning every day, and that's that's the part with our hobby. Uh, I just spoke with Steve Gibbons about this this morning. And he said, "Yeah, I still have to learn a lot." I said, "Yes, I know. I still have to learn a lot of and and." That's the part you never stop learning when we're talking about the business side of the koi, but also everything with what we do with, for example, the bloodlines variety, as Hunter just said, uh, said about the uh, Hiotsuri here at Shinoda. Um, I really like this farm. I really like the tanks in here. It's a nice place to hang out. And we're waiting for them because they're bringing in like 130 pieces. Oh, there they are. So uh, looking forward to, uh, to the koi. It's cooking them up and then they <laughs> go to, uh, to the shop. So these are freshly harvested this morning. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. Um, of course, there are um, hunters here oh, and there are some oh, other <laughs> guys yeah. and they are picking out which and one they want. And then you again. One, two, yeah, two, the only one, thing four. is like, these are these are male koi. They're yes. really nice, really, really nice koi. It's just Fush. that I tried not to buy a male.
I have to watch out for, for water. We got some nice toy here. This is a uh, Samsai, four, three and four years old. I uh, just dropped by here, guys. I was uh, saying hi to uh, Saito-san and I saw here at the uh, Yamamatsu that they are getting some koi out. So So guys, is this working? Yeah, this is working. I hope it stays there. I got a different car than I got normally. Normally I get like a, um, a Mazda and now I'm driving a Suzuki. But this one has cruise control, so that's so that's good too. So yeah, so I was saying hi to, um, to continue with my story. I was uh, saying hi to Shintaro, to Saito's son, but he was all them, he was there by himself and they're not rushing with their harvest, so that's good. When I drove back, I saw that they just did a harvest here at Yamamatsu Koi Farm. And for the real viewers that are watching my videos for quite a long, they knew that I had a Sanke from the Yamamatsu Koi Farm and that quality was insane. That was really, really insane. I think I'm going to drive up instead of down. I'm now looking to one of the valets here. Let me show it to you so you can see it so they're cleaning their um they're, they're cleaning their stuff here because they don't want their clay and sand inside their koi houses um this is one of the valets here in yamakoshi so it's nice to uh to show that to you guys i'm not sure where i'm going to now uh, maybe it's good to say hi at jagenji so we're lucky with the weather. The sun is out now. Uh, temperatures are good. I think it's around 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, we still have some sunlight. It is around three o'clock and uh, we are at the Jagenji Koi Farm. And they are gonna pack some koi for shipping. It's early, but um, yeah, um, they want their fish as soon as possible to, the, um, to their new owners. This is their new koi house they built two years. No, that's not true. I think already three or four years ago. And uh, we got the boxes here. So for the people that never seen how they ship them, they um, have an extra bag in here. Um, the bag with the fish and the water will be in here. And then they weigh it. They put some extra foam in it if they need it to um, keep them safe, the bags. And then they bring them to the big truck and then they go to the airport if they're uh, going abroad. So uh, it's always crazy to see that the fish are being shipped by plane to the other side of the world. Many people, if you tell them about how they ship the fish, it's like, how did they do that? How is that possible that they put those fish in the uh, in the airport of uh, in the um, in the aircrafts? Uh, they got some ponds outside here. I'm not sure if there is some fish in there. No, I don't think so. Yeah, there are some fish, but just a couple. Some shiratsuris. There you go. Yeah, so it's fun being here around in the mountains. Just relax and enjoy everything with the koi. Look at this view, guys. This is unbelievable. This is really... The view that I'm looking forward to every time I come here to Japan. It's so beautiful out here. 